Sam Jolly, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the weekend coming up, which is going to be the 9th, 10th, 11th of, of July, up until and including possibly the Monday. All right, so let's see what this weekend is going to bring you guys. For those watching Spirit, oh, 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 I don't know, someone's a Beyonce fan here. Because <laughs> that's the first thing that I wanted to say. Someone's listening to Beyonce while I'm, someone is listening to Beyonce. Well, I'm feel well. I'm you're watching this in the background, so I can hear it. Um, Queen of Cups, okay. Creative idealist, okay. So I'm hearing someone could be feeling a little bit run down this weekend. Um, it just it's kind of like you're just like looking at everything, thinking, is this it? Are, are you serious? Like a spirit, come on, don't do me like this. And it's like, yeah, this is a test of faith. Yeah, if you, you need to regroup and collect yourself and pamper yourself and put your energy into you, do it. But don't sort of, you know, think that this is all kind of, oh, well, just burn the lot. Because I feel like someone's in that energy here. Be careful with that. You don't want to self-sabotage this, especially if it's a lot you've worked for is what I'm hearing. This could even be a love connection and or a work connection or situation here. Someone's going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision here. <laughs> Creative spark, wheel of fortune, okay? creative spark wheel of fortune sorry that was too short a time some people get annoyed when i do that this is a they're gonna have to choose between someone is in a position where there, there's going to be an offer from a non-divine feminine towards a divine masculine right and it could be relating to the original message that we picked up on the sixth where there's there's choices here all right yeah there's show me this eight of swords Someone's in their head is what how I'm hearing it. Someone is trapped in their head. They know if they make the situation, uh, the, the decision, there's no back going back. They know. If they make this decision, that's it. And so they're they're putting it off. They're putting it off. Because they know that they have to make a decision. Um, this is going to be a choice between two individuals. It could even be from your side. You're going to have to make a choice between two. All right. But there is a decision to be made, right? What else is happening for the weekend? 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, July, please, Spirit, with this collective. There's a stall. There's going to be a stall, okay, for some of you. Because of the choice that this person makes, all right? For some of you, there will be. And I'm getting it can even be six months stall. And what I would say, that if this is your collective that you're in, you need to look over the last six months of, of things that weren't quite moving forward and see where what you needed to kind of resolve from your end. And if there's anything you need to do now, which would be the focus before you decide what you're going to do. That's my personal suggestion. Um, some of you are literally just like, I don't care. I'm gone. I don't, I'm, I don't even I don't even want to know. I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't care what you got to say. I don't care. I'm leaving. Some of you are in that energy and are just like, <laughs> like not my problem. Okay. So this is going to be, okay. And some of you are fed up, right? And are convinced that this is now unrequited and you're going to take it personally. Okay. There are so many things I can say at this point in time, but let's see what other messages come out because there's three collectives in this one group here that are watching this channel. So let's see, what else can you tell us? Right, your self-worth has to be worked on. Your self-worth has to be worked on. There is some kind of a money trap here. This person could be having a choice between money um, and it's a test, basically as per what we said before it looks like spirit are being a bit sneaky and they're like oh you want to go this direction okay what's the reason guarantee it's to do with money or something material it's going to be of that kind of it's something fear-based that they they have an issue releasing fear wise okay i'm hearing some of these people in a past life could have had or been lost left with no money so they're working through past life issues here because whatever is coming up and is your situation really take a good look at it because it's going to give you a reflection of what the karmic links are between you and this person all right couldn't say it better myself spirit and as you can see they've confirmed time to reflect you're going to have to really understand can you see the mirroring going on as well this is spirits trying to tell you guys like okay and also someone is not respecting their boundaries maybe they're not respecting yours or they're not respecting their own but you would need to respect your own in that in that kind of predicament okay and show that you care so again there's a balanced energy coming through again spirit asking you to acknowledge 
Like, what else for the weekend, Spirit? Is there anything else we need to be aware of this weekend? Is there anything else we need to be aware of this weekend? Okay, we've got generosity. Um, let me just tune back into that card. Because I feel like what that's trying to say here is, is that if someone's chasing something physical, there's a lack, right? Especially because obviously money is abundance, it's energy, it's an exchange of energy. If they're chasing after that, it means they're not giving that energy and they're looking externally. So you need to look where you're doing the same and or where you're putting your energy into you. Because again, it's about being generous, generous with the self, okay? Being generous with the self is going to be what saves the day. And if you're not going to acknowledge that and they're not going to acknowledge that, I'm not surprised Spirit are going to be kind of flipping this. Can you hear that bird? I'm not surprised Spirit are going to be flipping the script because especially if you're dealing with a divine partnership, they're not going to just kind of go, oh, um, I know you guys are div uh, divinely ordained, but let's just skip a few steps. Not going to happen. Especially if you're high vibe, right? They're not going to do that because you, you guys are going to know. You guys are intuitively probably pretty switched on. So let's see. I've got fireworks coming out. Uh, let's see. Well, what This could have gone on from the 4th of July as well because I got, just saw fireworks. So this situation could have climaxed around the 4th of July. I'm going to swiftly move on past that. The adults in the room are going to know what I'm talking about there. All right. And anyone under the age of 18 should not be on this channel. Okay. So because this is obviously for over 18s. Uh, even though I'm not going into vivid details, it is supposed to reference um, for, for to be for adults over 18 only. Okay, so within the next week to two weeks, this is going to be unlocked. Okay, so if it if it's developing now, it's going to reach a, a kind of climax in the next um couple of weeks okay i'm going to skip past that as well because i know some of my adult viewers are probably going to be laughing right let's see right what else do we need to be aware of here for this weekend 9th 10th 11th you could even get messages this weekend just be careful because there's someone around this for this individual there's someone around them and again you could even be getting some kind of news about an investment opportunity or connected to this person okay there's a good out omen coming here show me yeah they're not 100 percent sure because the, the, again we've got this kind of um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> we've got neptune and we've got the book what is being hidden what is being hidden here we've got uh, someone here who is not quite letting go that's around them for this individual and that's possibly why for some of you these this one kind of group could be taking longer because there is a karmic cycle they haven't closed and this person's mad and so they don't want to come towards you um obviously before that's been resolved because it feels like a bit of an effort here for some of you okay so that could also be reaching a climax this weekend okay so there could also be illness here someone needs to look after you some, you know you need to look after yourself here there's lots of confusion and delays with this it, it feels like there just needs to be a rebirth of energy at some point uh again next couple of weeks this will be developed but what else can you tell us for the 9th 10th and 11th please for this collective right so there's a closure there's a closing out of one thing and an, and an opening of another whether that's you and this person it's going to be different for everyone but for those with multiple partners there is definitely some shift going on here right let's do the secret garden as a final message and then final message for the weekend spirit what does everyone need to know forgiveness a crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent so forgiveness may well be something you're going to need to look into this weekend. And then we've also got per perseverance, leave no stone unturned. So before you're forgiving a situation or, you know, you've got to understand the whole situation, right? So maybe, you know, take your time to understand all of the implications of everything that is going on for you guys at the weekend. Take good care. Many blessings to you. Until next time, take care.